A Boeing 737, the workhorse of commercial aviation, burns about 750 gallons of jet fuel an hour. Well, that makes air travel a major source of planet warming gas emissions. In our Eye on Earth series, CBS's Mark Phillips found electric powered flight could soon take off. This is the starting point, basically. This is where we're at right now. This one looks like the Red Baron's World War I triplane had too good a time at the party. This one looks like Luke Skywalker might use it on the school run. And this one looks like a flash from the past that doesn't flash very fast. A look around this display of vintage aircraft illustrates the challenge. In this British Aviation Museum, you can trace the history of aircraft design back over more than a century. But whatever the technological advances from original biplanes to supersonic, all of these planes use one basic fuel, oil. How far are we away from having the holy grail of aviation, an electric airplane? Um, a full electric airplane is a little way away. Uh, the big problem with full electric flights still at this moment in time is power density. Power density is airplane speak for the fact that when it comes to flying, there's nothing like aviation fuel. It may be polluting, but pound for pound, it packs 14 times the punch of any current battery. Where we are right now is this 19-seater design that Neil Cluffley says will be in the air within three years. It's admittedly an interim step, a so-called bioelectric hybrid. In the future, as we get to better batteries, we swap out the turbo generator, put that power pack in, the rest of the aircraft stays the same. Others are trying to go pure electric right now. This nine-seater got a lot of interest at the last Paris air show. Internally, we say it's a huge battery with some plane painted on it. Harbor Air in Vancouver has taken the piston engine out of one of its old seaplanes and put an electric one in. The thing flies, but not very far. Scaling up is the problem. The major builders, Boeing, Airbus, are betting on improved biofuel engines, but they come with their own environmental problems. The developers of the new technology say electric planes will be a commercial reality this decade. But there's a saying in radical aviation design, take theory, apply engineering, add miracle. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Duxford, England.